There are roughly 4 million Canadians are expected to be unemployed when the Canada Emergency Response Benefit winds down on September the 27th. Those eligible for employment insurance benefits will begin receiving a minimum of $400 a week. Those ineligible for EI will be able to apply for a series of recovery benefits, which provide between $400 to $500 a week. This morning, we are joined by Federal Minister of Employment, Workforce Development and Disability Inclusion, Carla Qualtra. Welcome back to your morning. Well, thanks for having me. Uh, just to reline this for everybody, the government has expanded the EI criteria. Not everybody, of course, is going to be eligible. So we've created these benefits for those who aren't. But given that we are already in an uncertain time, why not stay with the status quo, continue to extend the CERB throughout the pandemic and not just another four weeks? Well, the EI system is a much better system to get people back to work, to support people in getting back to work. And all along, we'd wanted, we'd ideally have wanted to use the EI system. But the reality was in March, the EI system wasn't able to ingest the number of people that were coming into the system, and it didn't include everyone. So when we went to serve, we were more inclusive in terms of all the workers that were going to be struggling because of COVID. Now, we've had the time, we've um, improved the EI system, automated streamlined, simplified a lot of our processes, and the EI system is absolutely ready to ingest the 3 million people. Under EI, you have access to training. You can work while on claim. Uh, you have to prove your ability to work, so there's more rigor and integrity measures. It's just a better system than a clunky kind of fly-by-the-city-your-pants option we had in serve. Are people able to be on EI and then also apply for some of these side benefits, like the care one or sickness? So you wouldn't be able to be on them at the same time, but you absolutely have access to them. So, for example, if you have a caregiving responsibility because of COVID, your kid's not in school, you've got elder care responsibilities, you have a dependent with a disability who doesn't have access to their day program, that isn't covered by EI. So you couldn't go on EI for those reasons, but you can access this caregiving benefit for those reasons. Uh, in response to your plan, conservative finance critic Pierre Polyev tweeted, with no plan to let businesses hire again, liberals believe they can forever replace people's paychecks with game board money printed by the Bank of Canada. How do you respond to the idea that these income supports represent compromises in your government's focus on getting people actually back to work? I completely disagree. Um, with respect, I think that Canadians have proven through this pandemic when there's work available, they will take it. But the reality is there just isn't. And there are a lot of people still without work or who have reduced hours, who, who don't have the option of going to work because they're sick or they're caregiving. And we are committed to supporting all Canadian workers through this. We actually think that's the smart economic thing to do. Um, I think personally, it, it's, it's why we're doing better than many of our G7 counterparts, because we've We've taken on the debt as a government, and we haven't put this responsibility on our citizens. But um, I, I think it's a smart thing to do, both economically and it's the right thing to do for people. Well, it is with money that are paid for by the citizens through taxes. Exactly. All right, Mr. Qualtro, always good to have you on the show. Thanks so much. My pleasure. Take care. Thanks for watching. If you like this, be sure to subscribe here. And you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.